The woman is horrified to realize that there are countless Teslas parked on the road, and all of them are driverless. Julia realized what was going on and immediately told her husband to drive away. The result? Two Teslas collided in quick succession. The women were terrified and pressed the GA-S despite the danger. Luckily, Julia was a good driver, and avoided one Tesla after another. But that's not all. A man on a beach vacation found his million-dollar watch exposed. When he picks it up, he realizes it's a broken arm. When he looks up, the beach is full of corpses. The man stood sti LL with a look of disbelief. Looking at the crashed airplane not far away, a bad feeling surged to his heart. But not waiting for him to leave, another plane straight down to the ground. Luckily, the house was solid, and the man didn't dare to stay too long, so he drove away in a hurry. It turned s out that just yesterday, there was a terrible disaster here. Julia and her husband were playing on the beach with their children. Julia and her husband were playing with their children, on the beach when they suddenly noticed a huge ship approaching in the distance. Only half a minute later, the ship was getting closer and closer Julia realized something was wrong, and ran for her children. Luckily, people reacted in time uh, and de evacuated under the direction of the security guards. Julia's family is a tourist, they don't know where to go, they can only go back to the rented villa first. They turned on their computers to make a guide but unexpectedly found that there was no internet connection, and no cell phone signal. At that moment, a few reindeer appeared outside the villa, according to local custom, seeing deer is a good omen. Julia was relieved to see the reindeer, and spent a pleasant afternoon at the villa. In the evening, the couple was building blocks in their room, when the doorbell rang. The man claw, I'm to be the owner of the villa, and told them that the city was in chaos and that the internet, and stores were out of order. He couldn't go home. So he came here to ask Julia, and her husband to stay the night. As a token of his appreciation, Ollie went to the safe, took out $1,000 and handed it to Julia, promising her that he wouldn't stay long. In the middle of the exchange, an alarm goes off in the next room. Alice's wife turns on the TV, and it clearly states that there is a national state of emergency. All commercials and programs are off the air. It seems that today's events may not be a coincidence, but what is going on out there, there is no way to know, we can only wait for the next day to wake up to discuss the situation. Unbeknownst to them, just as they left the living room, the TV screen suddenly jumped, and a news item appeared, showing that the whole country was under cyber attack. Within two seconds, the TV signal was cut off. It was useless. When Julia woke up the next day, there were several news alerts on her cell phone, and even speculation that her country had been hacked. She rushed to wake up her sleeping husband. At the same time, a little girl playing in the yard suddenly looked terrified, as if she'd seen something. She got up to see what was going on. When she looked up, there were more and more reindeer, and a bad feeling came over her. Realizing this was not the way to go, the two families split up. Julius Huspa, N.D. went out to look for signals. Ollie went to the neighbor's house to get help, but when he stopped the car, he saw the place was in a mess, no one was home, and it looked like some kind of disaster. Remembering that the neighbor had a satellite phone, Ollie immediately went to the warehouse to look for it. Finally. But when he went out to try to make a call, he realized that the satellite phone had no signal at all. That's strange. Could it be that his country had been hacked, just like Julia said? Without giving it a second thought, Ollie drove away, but was attracted to the beach behind T.H. E. House, and realized that it was full of corpses when he got closer. Before he could recover from the shock, an airplane came down from the beach. Luckily Ollie reacted quickly and hid inside the house before anything happened. Soaked to the skin, he immediately returned home and told the truth ab out what he had seen. As soon as he spoke, a piercing sound came out a few people were confused, but there was more to it than that Julia's husband, hadn't been out of the house long, when he saw a drone not far away, broadcasting something red. He turned around and hit the gas like crazy, but the jeep was having a hard time getting up to speed. He couldn't understand what it said, so he took one home with him. Julia's son says it's a flyer about the end of the world, and that he's seen it in a game before. Julia didn't want to wait for the end of the world, 
so she decided to take her son out of here. She didn't expect to see all the Teslas colliding with each other on the road. Thanks to Julia's good driving skills, the family was able to leave this place unharmed. Gradually, they realized that everything was not as simple as they thought.